episode on Sailing Millennial Falcon. We set a speed record as the fastest ship in the galaxy while racing out with our travel buddies Bright Eyes to Virgin Sounds in the British Virgin Islands. Unfortunately, the bay was still recovering from the damage sustained from Hurricane Irma in 2017. We just pulled out of Virgin Sound. We're on our way around to Spanish Town because the, the Navionics chart we have said that there was a customs office there, so we were planning to check out from here. Unfortunately, it's been trashed and this is no longer a port of departure. Um, so we have to go around this poor entry. So we have to go around to Spanish Town, which is about six miles around the corner, six miles? Yeah, so a few miles around the corner, um, near where the baths were, near where we were the day before yesterday. But the trip wasn't in vain. We managed to uh, get an upload done in uh, Leverick Bay, which was quite a nice little pit stop. Yeah. Wasn't it's... too bad of an anchorage last night. And the wind is really fluky, it's just like we, we've got max kind of eight or nine knots of wind, which is really bad and annoying. Um, we're charging up our fridge though. Yeah, I changed the, managed to change the alternator belt and the, the fridge compressor belt this morning, so we should have some nice cold beers when we arrive, hopefully. Really? So we're yeah. going to check out first thing tomorrow, do some provisioning, wait for a weather window, and then head to Saba. Apparently it's going to be northeasterly breezes. Saber apparently is also Saber. that's meant to be said. Okay. Apparently it's northeasterly breezes later in the week or midweek, so hopefully when uh, just as we're leaving, the northeasterlies show up and we can get it done in sort of two, maybe three tacks. I really would <laughs> hate to have to just bash east into Tack a more than two times. Yeah, well, I just don't want to go southeast in, yes. into a southeaster. Yeah. I'm just so tired of going to Windward. <laughs> anyway, yeah. that's the plan. We'll keep you informed. We just picked up a mooring ball at Spanish Town, outside of Spanish Town Harbour. Uh, the plan is to stay here tonight, check out first thing tomorrow, and then plan our route to Saba. We're supposed to be in northeasterly for the next couple of days, but I checked another forecast this morning and I'm not sure that's going to be the case. So a little bit of route planning might be in order and we'll have to time our run well. But it's been a lovely day and it's tipped to be a lovely couple of days. Uh, in general, regardless of the wind direction, you know, 10 to 15 knots, nice four to six foot seas. So even if we are bashing into the, way, uh, the wind, <coughs> shouldn't be too harsh. So fingers crossed that turns out to be true. There appear to be a lot of old boats here from the hurricanes. I think this is where maybe they've all got taken to, the ones that sunk. Spanish Town is a settlement on the south side of the island of Virgin Gorda. It's the second largest in the BVI's after Road Town, with Yacht Harbour Marina at its centre. Spanish Town derives its name from the Spanish miners who were the first to mine coppers in the early 1800s. However, Cornish miners are said to have built the ruins that remain today. Spanish Town was desolated by Hurricane Irma in September of 2017, and much of the resulting damage is still evident today. Many establishments remain closed almost a year later, though reconstruction efforts are in full swing. We are just doing a little bit of shopping here, food shopping. Not there really much to do on the island. We are just getting a little bit of supplies for our trip down to Sabre. Because we're thinking that Sabre might be a little bit more expensive. And also they probably won't have as many options and stuff. What did you just tell me? Because I think it's great advice. Oh, okay. So this is $4. But instead I said to Adam, why would I, like, I can get some diced tomatoes, which are about a dollar here. Um, a fifty here and just make my own pasta sauce because I have all the spices, I have everything like that and it just ends up a little bit cheaper. So um, Don't buy canned pre-done stuff, buy herbs, spices, garlic, salt, yeah. pepper and tomatoes yeah. and diced tomatoes. Exactly, you just make up your own stuff. It's a little bit cheaper and fresher. Shopping with Kiara! Idiot. <laughs> He's really hot. I'm not sure where we're going at the moment. 
Uh, apparently to the last supermarket. Really? We're is doing it, price comparisons on three like different Somewhere in North here. America? So I feel like we've walked that far. I'll just get check. Did we have a successful shopping trip? Looks like it. Got a full bag and an empty wallet, <laughs> so I'd say it was a pretty successful trip. Even more successful, yeah, we got happy. some tea! <laughs> you don't you know, have ever drink tea anymore. It's yeah, because it, these days. Yeah, because it's got the bad tea now. I ran out of phonings. You're on trial here. Tea snob. Tell everyone what's wrong with Lipton or bushels. What's wrong with bushels? Tell your hey, folks you at home. You can't get bushels here. Lipton's just Twinings, PG Tips. PG Tips? Who's PG Tips? Tea. What? Profit. It's pro What's PG brand. Tips? Explain yourself. It's just another brand of tea. It's like you're not speaking English. Well, we've just checked out of Customs and Immigration. Departure date is early tomorrow morning. All we need to do is just drop some shopping back to the boat. And then uh, just check a few... Check the weather. Yep, yep, check the weather, go find a bit of Wi-Fi or go ask the marina what the weather is going to be like tomorrow and the next day, and then, uh, we're all good, we're all set. Now all the official stuff is over and done with, I can take off <laughs> fancy, fancy attire, get back into normal, oh. uh, normal dress. Whee! With the administration out the way, we spent the remainder of the afternoon hauling jerry cans, stowing the deck, and I got stuck into making some bread for the trip to Sabre. Away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, this is our day of leaving. Yes, we are heading off to Sabre later on today. Our preparations have been uh, so it's now eight o'clock. So, preparations last night were to cook up food, to uh, top up diesel, to put everything away, which we did this morning as well. I'm just making us some breakfast. I made a crazy amount of bread rolls by accident because you know when you have to half a recipe and then one of the ingredients you accidentally forget to half so then you need to do the whole recipe <laughs> to it again yeah this is why we now have a lot of bread so rolls burgers for the next week or two yeah exactly yeah yay it's leaving day <laughs> the saber is a special municipality of the netherlands it measures just 13 square kilometers and is essentially the top of dormant volcano mount scenery Stop filming! <laughs> Not Adam, what did you catch? First catch of the day, the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Ah, oh, it's stuck in there. This hook works. Can verify. This hook works really well. Sh Shiza. Ah, oh, how is you got another one in there? Oh, okay, just stop. Stop fucking around with it. It's going straight on the rod, so this turd can cause no more carnage. And we're off! And we're off. We should have the sails up by now, but we're trying to charge up the fridge for all the fish we're going to catch. Yes! <laughs> so we're uh, we're going to motor for enough, just 30 minutes to clear the heads and then we'll stuff around when we get, yeah. get out there. We'll probably oh. motor sail if we wanted to. Yeah, actually might not be a bad idea. We might stick the sails up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Represents the last piece of BBI that we're going to see. Let it go, spit it out. I don't want to deal with. Oh. He looks pissy. <laughs> you bit me. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I thought he took the bait. No. Oh. He just ripped himself clear looking at me. Barra number one for the day. We're crawling along at three knots into ten knots with a 
swell pushing us onto the onto the islands. Very slow, pro excuse me, very slow progress. Um, but we did get a barrel. We didn't get a barrel. We, we had a bit of a fight with a barrel five minutes ago, which was pretty cool. It's probably the biggest thing we've hauled over the side so far, but hopefully we catch something we can eat. So I'm gonna give it 20 minutes, get a bit further offshore, get away from this mate, old mate's territory so we don't haul him back in again. And hopefully we get that mahi-mahi we're looking for. We'll, get, we'll have a bit of an afternoon summary. Caught a fish, lost all the wind. We're now doing one knot into five knots, barely fighting the current and uh, it's gonna it's take us a while. It's very boring. We have 80 miles to go to windward and we're making almost no progress. Don't judge me. What have you done? Can you hear something? Yeah, I hear the, the gentle roar of our motor. That's my impatience talking. Yeah. Would you like we to get some context? We were just fluffing so much and I just wanted to make some ground east. We were actually, so that's still BBIs and we were still not able to make, on that tack that we were doing before, we were still not able to actually make it out of the last um, tip of the BBIs. And I was so bored of just tacking back and forth, back and forth, that I just put the motor on. Just for one hour, one hour, one hour, that's all. And what's the result of the enlightening discussion we've had prior to that? Is that I'm banned now. No! From, <laughs> uh, from, my, from no, making <laughs> any more of my own engine calls. You get and one I'm a voyage. Allowed, I'm only allowed one engine call per voyage that where I can just switch the engine on when I want to. More specifically, I'm referring to the discussion about the weight and oh, the sail yes, size. Oh yes, yeah, okay, right. Oh, just try and block some of the noise up. Um, <laughs> so, also, on top of, or before this discussion anyway, in which I impatiently just put the, uh, the motor on, Adam and I were discussing ways in which we could make the, bike, the, make the boat lighter. So we've um, just like, thought of a few ideas. It'll be in summary, we've come to the conclusion if we get stuck like today with a two knot current against us in six to seven knots of breeze, even with a full canvas, we're just too heavy. We just cannot get going at any point, any angle less than like 60 degrees off the nose. And even then we're barely making enough to overcome the current. So we're just too heavy and under canvassed. So we might need a bigger jib and a lot less weight on board. my shift off so I managed to get uh, about four hours of sleep we had a good night actually we had wind speeds of up to around um, 10 to 15 and so we actually managed to point fairly high-ish we're now about 25 miles away from Sabre Adam said I actually haven't had a proper check around but Adam said that he can see the island which is really really good news um, pretty much we as soon as it got dark, the wind actually started to pick up, which was so good, which meant that we were on one tack for the whole time. We've managed to pretty much point straight to it, which is, I'm going to say, almost unheard of. And we'll have another update later on in the day when I'm a little bit more awake and probably have a cup of tea. Alright, I'm here with the gap already. 